But where should we place this awning if we do not have enough space on the boat to install it? Let's go see Nautica and Pilole. Follow us. Here it is, the system. We are on a Beneteau Antares 9 with outboard engines. So in this area, we would not have been able to mount a tender if not with the use of very high cranes for lifting purposes. We have chosen a more practical, faster, cheaper solution if we want. And together with the customer, we have decided to do this. And the operation is to create a roll bar, therefore a steel arch that holds a much heavier structure than the same tender. At the top of this steel arch, this roll bar, we have installed the plate specifically made by Hurley Marine to be able to launch and retrieve the tender directly from a platform. And the result, as you can see, is excellent and this is it. But let's also see how it works. After unlocking, remove anchors, obviously the ropes that hold the tender as it must be kept still during navigation. I do nothing else, I hide here, but I will be back on video right away because as you can see, the operation is really easy and very kind to do. I just had to move the hood towards the cabin and automatically I have the tender that can go in this position. It's a simple and convenient process that allows for seamless integration of the tender into the desired position. In the final section, we have an electric winch for performing varolaggio, even if alone and with minimal force. This allows even a non-adult to easily accomplish it. The electric winch is equipped with a battery, eliminating the need for any boat wiring. It features a rechargeable 12 volt battery, making it incredibly convenient. The winch also has USB and USB-C ports, allowing for easy recharging without any hassle. To use the winch, simply loosen the socket in the desired direction and apply a slight push to unbalance the dinghy towards the stern. The winch will then start to release the dinghy effortlessly. Once this step is complete, position yourself accordingly. As you can see, no effort is required and the tube tails are already in the water. With its double angle of view for hauling and launching, the winch ensures a smooth operation. Putting the dinghy in the water is a breeze as demonstrated. Overall, the electric winch offers a user-friendly experience and simplifies the entire process. I don't make any kind of effort, really. I don't run out of breath or pants. I'm coming there, I can get to the point. The tender starts to let go on its own. Once I arrive at my destination, if I feel like completing the operation, it is obvious that either the customer or the owner of the tender and the boat will take care of it. Once the tender is fully launched, due to my lack of desire, I will not demonstrate the process to you. However, you will understand well that it descends into the water. To leave it completely free, you will only need to remove the carabiner from the tender shackle, then prepare it, attach the engine, perhaps an electric one in this particular case, and then go for a ride as you please. Contrary action, therefore I have to carry out the hoisting, then bring the tender on board. I don't have to do anything else but go and attach the carabiner of the argon in that position. They obviously release that it is a rope, not a chain or steel cable that could be dangerous at sea, especially since we will be in swimsuits and we will still be having fun. Once operation is hooked, I won't have to do anything else. Always with remote control in hand, always alone, all by myself, reverse operation to pull it back on board. No need for further action to perform this. I talk to demonstrate no effort, as it's all easy. No need for challenges, just showing you how effortless it is. At this particular moment here, it already begins to tilt towards this specific position. I finish the loading operation, I just let them widen slightly, I redo it to turn, I put it back in place, I fix everything, remember, then I leave and go have fun elsewhere, in a different location or area, away from this place. Well, what a fantastic solution this is. I can remove the winch and the winch extension and put them in the boat. The battery that is installed together with the winch is not a fixed matter with the extension, but also a battery of about, let's say, 20 centimeters by five. I can remove it and have it charged. The weight of the battery is ridiculous, 400 grams for something like this. I recommend if you don't want to miss any of our videos, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel. I'm having a beautiful spring day here on Lake Garda. 
I can only wish you good luck and always keep an eye on the weather. Thank you.